come from Laurelwood Church. I'm an elder there. And I every year I always say a poem for my church family. They always call me mom and uh, they're my children. So for my children today, I'm going to say this poem. And the name of the poem is, I'm sorry, the name of the poem is, it happened one day at Christmas, December's end. It happened one day at December's end. Two neighbors called in an old time friend. And they found this shop so bigger and mean. They gave with a thousand branches of green. And Conrad was setting the face to shine when he suddenly stopped and he stitched the twine. And he said, Old friends at war today, when the cock was crowing the night away, the Lord, he appeared in a dream to me. And he said, Night coming, your guest to be. So I've been busy with feet of shine and stir, and strewing my shop with branches of fur. The table is spread and the kettle is twined. And over the rack of the holly is twined. And now I will wait for my Lord to appear. And listen closely while I will hear his steps as he nears my uncle place. And I open the door and look on his face. So his friends, they went home and they left Conrad alone. For this was the happiest day he had known for long since his family had all passed away, and Conrad had spent a sad Christmas day, but he knew that the Lord, as his Christmas guest, this Christmas would be the dearest and best. He listened with only joy in his heart, and with every sound he would rise for the start, and look for the Lord to be at his door, like a vision he had hours before. So he ran to the window after hearing a sound, and all that he saw on the snow-covered ground was a shabby beggar whose shoes were torn, and all his clothes were ragged and worn. But Conrad was touched, and he went to the door, and he said, your feet must be frozen and sore. I have some shoes in my shop for you, and a coat that will keep you warmest too. So with a grateful heart, the man was went away, but Conrad had noticed the time of the day. He wondered what made the dear Lord so late, and how much longer he would have to wait. When he heard a knock, he ran to the door, but it was only a stranger once more. A bent old lady with a shawl of black, with a bundle of kidneys plumped on her back. She asked for only a place to rest, but that was certain for Conrad's great guest. But her voice seemed to plead, don't send me away. Let me rest for a while on Christmas Day. So Conrad brewed her a sleeping cup and told her to set at the table and supper. But after she left, he was filled with dismay, for he saw that the hours were slipping away. And the Lord had not come as he said he would, and Conway was sure that he had misunderstood. And out of the stool, she heard him cry, please help me and tell me where am I? So again, he opened his friendly door and stood disappointed as twice before. It was only a child who had wandered away and she was lost from her family on Christmas day. Again, Conrad's heart it was heavy and sad, but he knew that he must make this little girl glad. So he called her in and wiped the tears and quiet all her childish fears. Then he led her back to her home once more. But as he entered his own darkened door, he knew that the Lord was not coming today, for the hours of Christmas had passed away. So he went to his room and knelt down to pray. And he said, Dear Lord, why did you delay? What kept you from coming to call on me? For I wanted so much your face to see. And soft in the silence, he heard a voice, Lift up your head, for I kept my word. Three times my shadow crossed your floor. Three times I came to your lonely door. For I was the beggar with views cold feet, 
I was the woman you gave something to eat, and I was the child on that lonely street. Three times I knocked, three times I came in, and each time I heard the warmth of a friend. Of all the gifts, love is the best. I was honored to be your Christmas guest. Amen. Amen.